the white lion of the north roar once more welcome back to more Banlord adventure time we continue our white lion of the north series uh, where we left things last time we were sieging Kles castle and that's exactly what we're going to do to kick things off today we're going to go in and attack it um i'm going to want to swap to me bow from me axe and equip and equip the sword shield and bow for this siege in we go 806 versus 300 odd So I need to play more Battle forget the character's name. This is true. I, I realize it's been a month. It's been a month since we last played. Since we last streamed. It was spicy, spicy hot sauce time. So yeah, it'll be back each week now. That's the plan. A little, a little, a little thing called Warhammer 3 launch got in the way. get my FPS counter to show up like oh god why why is everything burning I forgot they've got the kind of flaming mangonels probably a bad thing that we've got a where's our siege tower it's over there oh god that ram is not gonna make it no that ram's not making it to the gates this is really gonna hurt Well, these are these aren't particularly high barricades either. What I have a feeling I'm going to die within a few seconds today. I'm gonna stay here. Just please don't like point blank shoot that mangonel right at our faces. That's what we need to try and take out though, the mangonel crew. A bit firing on our forces as we advance. Yeah, got that guy. Come on, shoot that guy in there as well. Ah, come on. Crossbowman over there has seen us. I can just see a, a just a massive line of red. As that mangonel fires every time. Oh, good God, so many people dead. Oh, it's loading up again. Oh, what? Why are we? No, don't all just stand here. We're a perfect sitting target. Did I make the jump to Windows 11? No, I haven't gone to Windows 11 yet. Uh, mainly because I've got it on my laptop. Oh, good God. Why are we standing here? No, no. I choose life. No, I'm not standing by that barricade. No, I haven't gone to Windows 11 yet uh, because I've got it on my laptop and I keep getting blue screen and crashes ever since I've gone on to... Uh, ever since I've updated my laptop to it, it's made it really unstable. Um, but also, from what I understand, quite a few other content creators are having a lot of problem with OBS um, and Windows 11 at the moment. So I'm just staying on 10. I'll, I'll switch over probably in like a year or just before they uh, take off the free period of whenever you can uh, upgrade for free. So 182 of our troops have been wounded so far. 30 dead. That's not bad, to be fair. Most of the mangonel shots are just wounding us. They are climbing up the ladders now, though. We've taken out that mangonel on the right. I think. I think we've got troops around there. The siege tower is in over that side. There's a long... There's like a a bridge that connects the, the castle and keep together. All right, let's get up here. Come on. Come on. I'm just so glad that... Thing that troops climb on all the ladders now. What happened to the week? We still got this. Stop firing the mangonel. Okay, well, they're not firing the mangonel anymore. That's good. They're getting absolutely butchered. Die. Yeah, we've got them overrun. We're coming in from the other side. 
swarm them. The castle will be ours. Kill them all. Yes, glorious Sturgeon slaughter of the Valandians. Oh, I wanted to jump over the wall and kill him. Yeah, I mean, uh, typically as well, like just when I upgrade for, when I upgraded from Windows 7 to 10, I waited like an extra year until pretty much until pretty much the free upgrade had nearly ended, and then I then updated just because by then something that seems to be fairly common for content creators when you upgrade OS is that it wrecks all your audio settings. Um, in some ways, where you just cannot fix it. It's not a case of like reinstalling drivers. It just seems to weirdly mess up the kind of forwarding of the ports and stuff like that of, of how all the audio connects together. Um, I, I've had the issue myself where the only way to fix it was literally to roll back my OS. So it's just something, I guess, different in how audio is handled between different ones. But that's the reason why I've held off on Windows 11 because I just don't trust it yet. Um, I might well do it once we're in the new house because I'm probably going to have another PC set up. I might, what I'll probably do is upgrade my editing PC first and then upgrade my main streaming system that I've got from Legion here. Anyway, victory! It's we're now getting some influence. We're going to gain more than that influence, I would have thought. That reads it wrong normally. Uh, prisoners, yep, yeah, yoink. Archer, let's just upgrade everybody here. Boom. Uh... Spearman, right? I've forgotten the line of where I was going. Yeah, Spearman is the line I want. Veteran, Warrior, Ar how many arches have I got? Bowman, Veteran Bowman. Is that as high as it goes? Just up to a Veteran Bowman. Yeah, we've got 18 of those. I'm not, we've got a few Woodsmen. What have you sold? How many have we got? We're actually, oh, our army's actually quite, because we can have like up to a hundred, well, we have 171. Damn, okay, we need, really need to resupply our force. Hadn't we just been captured or we had, had a battle where we lost a load? Okay, it's not really going to matter which one of these I go for. Let's go for warriors first then. Give me some loot, loot, loot. Or should I give them... We don't need the money, to be fair. We might as well let my troops have the XP. Uh, although, actually, go through and just make sure there's not any consumables. No, it's not. Cool. Castle being taken. Devastate them. Uh, show mercy. Yeah, show mercy for now. Yeah, our influence has gone up, so it means I can increase the cohesion of the army. Which means we can now leave and hunt down these guys. Although, that might be also a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> Make a save. They're actually coming for us. No. They're running from a party. Nice. Come on. I'm going to catch you in the mountains. Oh, not at night time, though. Please not at night time. I hate fighting at night. It's so dark. Take my leave. Oh, crap. They've got some fort. Oh, no. Yes. Go into that battle there. Oh, no. Balls, you went into the castle. Okay, quick, turn around. Damn it. Well, we've got them, we've got them trapped in this castle. Oh, hang on. Where's everyone going? Oh, because that's going. To be fair, I probably should let everyone break off now. Yeah, let's, let's disband the army. We've seen him off for now. I can just run this guy down. Vote for the new owner. Who is it going to? Yeah, I don't want it. Um, Ragnvad, how do we feel? Uh, I'm just going to abstain. It's all good. It's all good. I've got some prisoners I need to do something with, don't I? Uh, how are we looking? They're slightly stronger than we are still. Have we taken many of them prisoner? A few of them. Yeah, we need to do a recruitment drive. They're going to be faster than I am. 
by 0.1 speed. Okay, what skill have we gained? Oh, we gained a few points. Oh, nice. Um, What should we go into here? We're one-handed. We definitely need to increase that. So we've got more focus points there. Riding. We can go for Sagittarius. Decrease accuracy penalty by 15% when mounted. Or Sweeping Wind. Increase your mount's top speed by 5%. Sagittarius. Go for the Archer. Tactic. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go pop the point in here because we want to get up our roguery for the future because that'd be fun. Uh, roguery, we should sell apparently our post battle, our captives at towns, right? Raid caravans, recruit and lead bandit troops, infiltrate enemy towns, give bribes, escape from captivity. I thought someone said you could also get it up by trading your prisoners to taverns. Do -do 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 -do. Tactics we can get here. Coaching, 3% more damage bonus in all battle simulations. Or Law Keeper, 10% more damage in battle simulations against bandit parties. Coaching against all situations. Um, who else can upgrade? Medicine, nice. What have you got? Bush Doctor, increase village half growth rate by 20% governor. And uh, get 20% healing bonus in villages or pristine streets. Increase settlement prosperity by plus one every day. Governor. Uh, or get plus 20% healing in town. You're my... You're off on your own party, aren't you? Yes, he's... he's all, Oh, no, that's another guy. That's my... Right, that's my actual surgeon. In which case, we will definitely want you... Um, no, there we go, my scholar. Definitely want you doing the pristine streets because we're in towns a lot and we've got a town, so we'll likely come back to it. You're, what am I using you for? Oh, you're my governor. Yes, you're my Britannian governor. Good, good, good. Can swift. Athletic. Built. Riding. Humble steed for you. Lovely. Um, so yeah, we want to go to a city then to sell my prisoners for a bonus. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Ah, damn, can't catch him. Yeah, you're hitting my settlement. Oh, wait. Sod off. Those are my villages. How ruddy dare you. Give me my axe. What's he got? Fair bit of cavalry. Fair chunk of cavalry. Um, I'm going to say don't get involved just because I want to wait until daytime. I hate fighting at night. Hey, Lorix, how you doing? Ransoming gives Rogue Reed. Just had it happen. Is that... That but only works at taverns, right? <clears throat> um yeah, ready. Riders, hear me. Move out. Shields up. Hear me. Horse. Warriors. Horses. Riders, hear me. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I'm all good. Mm. Butchering some Valandians today. Get a bit closer. Shield walls there. Hold the line. Soldier, warriors, move out. The wall marching forward. Warriors, archers spread move. out behind. Just need to deal with that cavalry, then we're free to move on them. But they're not going to fight 
that effectively here. Here we go. Draw them all in. Then my own cabin. Take my archers. He's down. Chop him down. Kill them all. Shield them all. Charge. Pressure on them. Kill them all. Ugh. You didn't need your legs, did you? One last crossbowman trying to flee from us. There we go. Victory is ours. The village is safe. Oh. Boom. Only one of our troop died and it was a bag. Okay. Okay. Plenty of influence gained. Oh, you're my prisoner now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't want the looters. Give me your, give me your prisoners though. Uh, heavy Axeman. Hunter. Do, do, do. Oh. Beautiful stuff. Are we maxed out on our prisoners? We are. Fair enough. Uh, we'll have your horses, thanks. Oh, and yeah, we'll have your, we'll have your butter and we'll have your grain. Everything else, XP from your troops, please. Village is safe once more. All right, let's head to Theonon. Has that affected their strength rank at all? Teeny tiny bit. They've lost five of their commanders, though. Five of their characters have all been captured by me. Um, we should probably check the my settlement, shouldn't they? <clears throat> How uh, loyalty is expected at Fintolo Castle 0.08. Okay, so it's only just dropping. Um, loyalty here is 0.09. So yeah, we do need probably one of the one of the policies that will shift it in our favor. It does come at like I think someone said the five five percent um reduction in settlement uh settlement income but that's not terrible 0.5 per day the half production village decreased by 0.25 i mean that's not terrible grazing rights that wouldn't actually quite fix it though um we'd need something i think we might need to have to go for a couple of these to get it all over Wait, well, wasn't that like 0.08 rather than 0.5 yeah so that should be enough actually I'll find, I swear there's another one which increases loyalty. Girl towns. I want a royal garden near. Ew. Plus 0.5 loyalty per day settlements that have the same culture as their owner clan. New. No. That won't help us out. Loyalty. Oh, here we go. That's the one. Forgiveness of debt. Settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. Settlement production is reduced by 5%. That's the one to go for. That's the one to go for. 5% hit. But we'll secure our loyalty so we don't need to keep worrying about our settlements as much. But we're going to need a lot of influence to get that push through. So 
won't be able to do that just yet. I need to go on a recruitment drive through our heartlands as well. Right, Tavern District. Ah, uh, no, hang on. Keep. Dungeon. Manage prisoners. We want to put in the... Um... Yeah, this guy, this guy. But if we're going to get more roguery from selling all these guys, let's take all of them. Pop him in. And then go back. Ghost Tavern. Uh, I mean, let's just check it out. Let's just see if this works. Roguery is currently 86. Out of 503 XP. Level 22. Ransom your prisoners. He's still in there. Whoa! Okay, we went up four levels. Boom! That'll do. Uh, banner units in your party gain experience up to uh, get experience twenty percent faster. Raiding five percent faster. Or do you want sweet talk? Banner it's twenty percent easier to convince to leave in peace while bartering. Prisoners twenty percent less likely to escape from towns. I mean, faster raiding's quite nice, but then prisoners twenty percent less likely to escape from towns is also kind of useful. What do you reckon, Twitch chat? Weighs in. Order for order. Faster rating, faster roguery. This, this is true. <clears throat> Double the amount of betting you can use in tournaments. Oh, wow. Didn't know that was a thing. God damn. That's really cool. Okay. All right, then. I'm not hearing anyone say go for the sweet talker. So, yeah, let's... Uh... Let's go for no rest for the wicked. Boom. And somebody else has gained a skill somewhere. Look for a shield. There we go. Scouting. Day traveler during the day. 5% moon. Yeah, go for that. Go for night runner. Cool. Right. Um, let's manage the town. How are we doing here? Loyalty is plus four right now. Why was it telling me it was dropping down then? Oh, is it because we're here? No, what's parade? Oh, that that parade is a. If I'm not mistaken, parade is a policy, isn't it? I am mistaken. It is not that. What is what's parade? Someone must know. Oh, parade's my skill. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay there for a few days. Get it up. So it will yeah, stay up for a while. So yeah, we are we are we're only we are only just not we are 0 0.9. So yeah, we're gonna want to try and go for that policy forgiveness of debts because it will just make it easier to hold on to these territories. It's only just dropping on both of them. To be fair though, this is with the town building stuff. If we just had it on. Oh, is that, oh, if we had it on festival and games for increased loyalty, then it would sit around and do that at the end. But we've got to get through all this stuff first. Yeah, let's just wait here for a little bit to help get the loyalty up. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, here we go. Kuzates are at war with us again. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Uh, the problem is here, there's we're still at kind of fairly even stalemate. We need to shatter the Volandians so we can turn against the Kuzate. They've come back strong, but we actually managed last time we fought them to take some territory from. We took Dinar Castle, which is the most we've ever managed to do. Back to war. It is. Yeah, give the city more monies. There we go. In fact, just give it. I'm going to give it 40k. That should see things done quite comfortably. Um, uh, let we'll wait here for a like one more day, then we'll move on. Buy some more food. Managed tax. It's gone up to 42. So that, that's good. It's given a bit of a bump. Bit of a bump. It's going to drop by a bit. That's done in two turns. 
but it needs to work through all this stuff that we've got going really bonus influence training fields xp for garrison aqueducts prosperity change yep 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 right let's buy some munch give me all your grain give me all your fish and give me your grapes oh, that's too much okay maybe maybe i don't take all your grain maybe we leave some behind there we go now we've got plenty of food we're not going to run out for a while um we really need to get some more Sturgeon troops but i'm gonna reorganize this now as well because it's it's annoying me <clears throat> heavy axman at the top woodsman on the archer line warrior soldier spears Roots all the way at the bottom. Horse raiders are at the top of the cavalry tree. So you guys should go here. You not got anything? What's the what's the middle tier for you guys? A hunter, right? We don't have any hunters. Oh no, we do. There we go. Uh, hunter goes there. Then cavalry. Oh, heavy spearmen as well. Whoops. There. Uh, Veterans tier four, that one's tier six. Veteran three. Elite cataphract, you're at the top there as well. Yep, there we go. Right, nicely organized. Uh, there's a tournament here. <clears throat> it's a Britannian tournament though. Um, so it's two-handed, we're gonna lose. But let's give it a go. Oh my. The Ambassador indeed. Let's try and get it. Oh, I've got an axe to axe some questions. Oh, come on. Let me have that one. I think I maybe killed one of them. I say killed one. Knocked one out. Ow! Oh crap! Yes! <laughs> Did it! Keep betting. lose if you just keep swinging yes maybe it's the fact that i haven't played this for like a month i feel like i'm doing pretty well combat wise today i've jinxed it now haven't i <laughs> oh my days yes take that you douche victory noise getting the ambassador Beautiful. Um, I mean, let's have let's have a look at that sword. It is swing damage is better than what I've got, but not as it's not as long as the scalpel. Um, swing speed slightly slower. Good cut though. Let's let's give that let's give that to my wife, shall we? If it's better than what she's got, it's longer than her sword. Katie. Uh, her sword's got really good piercing though, and she's she's a good thruster. She's got a she's got a thrusting sword. Oh, you know, we'll leave, we'll leave her with her thrusting sword. Uh, let's give it to me, brother. Is this better than Dawnbreaker? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it, and let's just pass the swords down. Give that to you, mate. There we go. Enjoy the fancy new sword. I can't believe we actually did that, and that actually kind of worked. Um, how much have we got in the garrison here? Garrison's 291 million. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's head off to... Well, actually, where are the kingdom's armies? 
Gonna, we're going to need peace with Valandia. That's the thing. Unless we can spank them hard. I'm not too worried about the Kuzate, because like, if the Kuzate reclaim this this castle, we'll just push back over. As long as we don't lose tile. Um, so we should probably try and pick them off. Well, well, the thing is we can pick them off. We're not, we've managed to take that castle from them. That's it. That's going to be the next place to strike them from. Are they at war? Is Valandia at war with anybody else? No. Just us, so we can't hope that they'll just get busy. What I'm going to do is I am going to go recruit some troops and see if the situation resolves itself by the time I'm done. That's what I'm going to do. Peace offer. Here we go. 390 isn't terrible. They're saying accept. I am going to... It'll make them all like me a bit more, won't it? Screw it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's fine, because we've actually... We came out of that war the, the better for it, really. Okay, we're paying them 390 as tribute per day. It's not much. But we did grab a castle from them. So that's pretty decent. That means we can now focus on the Kuzate once again. So we're just we're just yo-yoing back and forth across the map here. But pff, it's the Sturgeon way of life at this point. That's fine. Right. Build up our army and go after the Kuzate. Try and take some cities from them this time. That's going to be the main thing. Right, let's just get as many troops as possible to fill up our army. So we've got plenty of gold stored up. Oh, yeah. God, look at these. No one's been no one's been back here for a while. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Foreign, what have you got? Oh, yeah, we're, getting, we're getting really... I think, I think it's just because... Oh, we don't have good relations with them. Are we just we're high standing within the kingdom, so we get good good troops from the villages now. Huh. Working out really nicely for us. Working out really nicely indeed. Uh, we are getting a lot of potential cavalry troops. That's fine. If we have a good cavalry contingent in the army of like 30, 40, that's that's all right. We just need to make sure we get more uh, infantry at some point. Let's see if I can hunt down those 30 looters actually. I'm just going to chase them out of the forest because I really hate fighting in the trees. Hate fighting in the trees and hate fighting at night. Oh, 60 loot is there. That'll be fun. I just need to corral you guys out of the trees. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, spin, 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 spin. Tiles, they've gone straight for tile. Okay. Who's a war against tile? We need to fight some people to get a load of influence up. It's fine. I've got to admit, though, like, I know it's often repetitive in the early stages of these campaigns um, that we do because we're often repeating the same sort of stuff that we've done many times before. But I feel like this is definitely going to be my best run I've, I've had so far. Like, I don't think we've ever done this well, to be honest. Um... Warriors! Arm shield! Horse! On my flank! Come on, Cav. Yo, yo, back and forth. Also known as content. Who needs infantry when you can just run over an army? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, Sturgeon and Sturgeon Cavalry aren't terrible. They're not the best in the game. We're going to wait here and then fly out from these trees. Oh, they come... Have they seen us over here? They're not going towards my infantry line. Hey, okay, come come this way. I'm ho I was hoping they'd just charge towards my infantry line and I can flank these guys. 
with a rear charge. My cavalry come crashing on in. I think we had those epic charges when uh, we did the Valandian campaign, didn't we? We went full on crossbow spam. Yeah, okay. I need my troops to move forward to draw the looters to them. Cavalry move up there. Let's give some commands. So they're pinned one way. Back. We want all of them heading towards my infantry. Horsemen, to me! It was those battles we had high up on the hill where we set off those massive cavalry charges breaking through enemy battle lines. That was really satisfying. My archers are doing a good job. Oh no, they're still coming this way though. Just want to get in behind them for a massive cavalry charge. Yeah, yeah, soldiers. I think we're just gonna have to draw the loose to the line and then circle, circle round. They've just been annihilated. with me. These guys should be locked in on the infantry wall now, I would hope. Horses. Okay, charge. Watch them fall. Here we go. Yes, look at that green wall. Yes. That's what we wanted. That was glorious. <laughs> Beautiful. Lost no one. I mean, it's against looters. Prisoners. And spears. Upgrade everybody. Uh, give me the olives. And give me the fish. And give me the grain. The rest of it to XP. Troops, right. Oh, more. More troops, please. So, yeah. They are siege. Oh, they're sieging both. Can't get anyone here that's already been picked off. Let's go down there. Tiles under siege and Dinar Castle. How big is that army? 388. They come down to these first clashes, really. All right, head to Balagard, and then we'll make our way straight east. We're still gaining influence, which is good. Need to just check on our fifes, though. How is loyalty doing? Yeah, okay there. The castle, okay there. Yep, 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 yep. Um, she is, yeah, we, we've got, we've got both of them are battalion culture, aren't they? Yes. Good. This is good. Troops, hello. Uh, that's 12. We'll take the archer. We won't take the line breaker.
Beautiful. Tavern district, ransom the prisoners. Hopefully. Actually, I, I, to be fair, not like I was, not that I was getting bored with Bannerlord, um, but I'm actually quite enjoying the fact that I've had a, like a month not playing this and now coming back. Uh, been a nice kind of recharge to the, to the system. If we wanted to form an army, who's available? There's a few. There's a few available. There's quite a few, actually. Oh, they've taken tile. Damn, that went quick. That went very quick. Who did we lose? Okay, two prisoners. Okay. We'll look to reclaim. The tournament here. Just get some extra influence for doing it. Might as well. Seems we get five every tournament that we complete. Skip, 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 skip. Um, I have really no point betting right now, but okay, let's do it anyway. Hey, Rossum, good, thanks. How are you? Dead. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oh, Christ. Of course, it's my wife giving me a hard time in this tournament. There we go, she's down. You know, I also stream here on Twitch. Welcome! I have streamed here for, ooh, like five, six, seven years. I, I honestly don't know. Is there a way to find out how old my channel is? Or when my first stream was? It's been so, so long. I mean, I haven't regularly, I've only regularly streamed on Twitch. I mean, I would say like proper regularly, as in m multiple three, four plus streams a week. I mean, we now stream currently five days a week. But, um, yeah, I haven't done that proper regularly until the last two years. But, like, I think it was what, one stream a week for about two years before that. What have you missed? Um, well, we ended the war with the Valandians. They... They pieced out with us, but they demanded 390 gold a day tribute, which is fine. Um, they offered th <clears throat> they offered that as the Kuzet declared war on us again. But we've got a city uh, and a castle, so we're doing we're doing pretty well for ourselves. And Stogie is not dead, which is like insane. So we just built our, our party up to be as large as it possibly can. 171. And we're actually making money as well. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, now we're not. But we were previously making money. Right, they're, see they're totally going off and seizing that castle. Where are our armies? <laughs> Travelling. Okay, where are you? He's back there. In which case, we should wait for his army to show up and use that as kind of fodder, essentially. Even if it means they take that castle. There's the other army coming up from here. As they've just taken this, it shouldn't have a massive garrison. In fact, it's got a tiny group of defense. Oh, that's because there's the army. There it is. So in which case... Oh, we've got... There's an army behind us. 250. Smaller one. How many of them are attacking this one over here? Okay. How many have they got defender-wise? I can't. I can't get past you, mate. You're chasing my party. I really don't want you to. How's that army doing? Yeah, that's it.
you're going to go after that party, aren't you? He's now like, uh-oh, mistooks were made. I can move him to help him here. Is it going to be enough? You'd like to think so, right? Let's find out. Let's hope we're adding enough into the fray to save them. I mean, this is their faction leader as well. So if we capture him, this would be pretty good. Move in. Let's do it. I've got the infantry command. Everything else is good. Hear me! Spread out, warriors! Move! Pulled back his force. Well, that's not cool. Onward, get moving, warriors. Move. Yeah. Okay. Pull my line back because I definitely don't want to be outmatched here. Where are you guys reforming to? Horse. Your wife's gone mental and just charged into them all. He's keen, bless her. Soldiers! Warriors! Move out! Hear me! It's because the battle already begun, so I'm not commanding the whole army, so I've got to go with the AI and its troops, which are playing defensively on it. We've got to wait for them to make their charge forward to us. All that cavalry, 64 of them. Yeah. Allied cavalry needs to engage it. Get them tied up. Be fair, I probably need to engage their troops with my infantry, otherwise um it's gonna sit and shoot us. Warriors! Move out! March forward. I'm gonna get screwed over by the AI commanding this one. It might be that we need to reload and wait for them to fight it out and pick off the survivors. Yeah, they're just shred it, shredding us with the horse archers. Hear me. Against the enemy. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go well for us. I don't have direct command over the army, so they're just shredding through us all. We're out, only outnumbered them by 80 now. My infantry's being absolutely shredded there. Because these guys won't bloody move forward and engage them. You can't sit back against the Kuze. You've got to go to them because they'll just pick you off at range otherwise.
My troops have paid the price for it, I think. Yeah, of my party, 41 have been killed, 90 wounded. I basically lost my whole party of troops here. Might still be able to win it, it depends. Depends if I get glaved off my horse by one of these guys. They didn't send their infantry for. They just sat and pulled them back. Bastards. Been had. Salt now. Ah, crap. It's going to be so close at the end, this. But I reckon they're going to have it just because they've got all these horse archers still. Definitely getting my fair share of kills though this battle. Ugh. Their infantry's finally clashed with Sturgis, and this is where we outclass them. Yeah, we've won, but at what cost? Our whole force. Bloody heck, we lost 51. I mean, 119 wound isn't terrible. Can probably still keep going from here. Oh no, Brenda the Wainwright died on the battlefield. No! I think she was just a random companion rather than anything specific. You're my prisoner now. You're my prisoner now. Ah, son of a gun. Wasn't she the engineer? Oh, she might have been. If so, that's a that's a big loss. I have to get another one. Get all them. I can't take any more prisoners on. Give me them. Any horses or supplies? The wool. Brain. I think she's still in my party. No, she's gone. She got taken out. Taken out? Taken out. She was taken out. Yeah, we've lost my engineer. That all that was left was just me. I am tempted to see what that's like if we reload and fight and wait for them to have their fight and then see if we go in afterwards and take them out if we'll do any better. Although, I mean, was that, was that a particularly good result? I don't know. I'm tempted. Tempted to kind of see the what if scenario. Probably they had more troops in this army initially, so they probably would spank it. Let's uh, let's create a save um, and see what happens after AI. Ooh. Let's see what the different outcomes like. Let's load back to the other one and just see what happens if we let them fight it out and then we pick off the the remains. Hmm. 
I was disadvantaged by the AI, yeah, not attacking. But obviously, we've got to wa watch out because they're going to pull another army in. Ah. So probably what I'd have to do is engage. Oh, no, we can check. We can keep it away. Come on. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. They're not losing a lot of troops, though. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, God. They're bringing loads of troops in, though. Okay. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in now before the battle's over. Oh, no. They've actually... Oh, I caught it just as the war... The battle ended. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. This is my army versus theirs, but still pretty even. We got it just before these guys came in. Oh, have I tried any overhauls yet? Um, I've played the um, the Warhammer model, the Old World mod. That was really fun. Um, obviously it's a fair ways off being kind of ready, ready, but um, for like a full campaign. But it was good fun to play. Uh, I want to play this, the Game of Thrones one, which I know has just been updated now. Shields forward! Riders, hear me! Move. But we'll probably stick with this campaign for a little bit longer and then we'll look to do the... take a look at the Game of Thrones one. That's one I definitely want to play. Cavalry go into their horse arch just just to keep them away and take them down. Keep them busy, chase them off, and try and bring a few of them down if we can. cavalry back and do the same thing again chase them away when they come back rinse and repeat let our archers give us cover Hear me. Get moving. Move out. warriors get moving hear me one thing we can do if they're not going to push forward with their infantry is push forward with our shield wall. We can throw stuff at them. Counter charge them a little bit. So we can get in behind them and thwack a few of them down. And that's worth it. Oh, I don't know what's happening with the shadows right now today. It's on a bit bandy. few of our horse art uh, cavalry there. Hmm. Pull them back behind the shield wall screen now. If we can draw them into the shield wall. Horses! Kill them all! Yeah, now send them in. Yeah, yeah. Horse, move, warriors, move. Oh, hello. Quite a few of them, isn't it? incredibly ballsy of me just going like that. Oh, okay. This got into all my archers. we lost so far. Five dead, 17. 
to take down these horse archers. Such a pain. Bows down! Pick your targets! Horses! Get moving! Hear me! Move out! Once we take these guys out, we can then march on their infantry comfortably. Really put the pressure on them. Ay, ay, ay. Soldiers! Move! Rider! Move out! Onwards! Are they finally coming forward with their infantry? Yeah, they are. And their cavalry. Wall, no. Quick! Cavalry! Show wall. Come in. straight for my undefended archers because we move my screen of infantry away. Charge infantry. Oh, crap. That's not good. I'm down. Uh, but we slaughtered their infantry with mine. Hopefully. Either way, it's not a good outcome for either party. But if we can get away without 50 of our own troops being killed, less than 50, uh, 50 then that'll be all right. I see me looking after cavalry more than I do in Total War games. <laughs> and, uh, we got them eventually. We had to just wait until we drew them in and then we got them. I've lost most of my archers. What have we lost mainly? It's mainly infantry, actually, and, and cavalry in that. We should have them here, though. We're going to take a lot of wounds, but as long as we don't lose more than 50 dead. 25, so we're at half what we lost last time. They're down to seven. Yeah, we've got this. We've got this. We've just got to get away from the other parties after this. There we go. Okay, that was a better result. 53 influence as well. Ruddy heck. And you're my prisoner. You're my prisoner. Oh, whoa. Loads of troops freed up. Nice. Perfecto. That'll replace quite a few of the ones we just lost. Let's just upgrade everybody first. Axes, spears. Right. Uh, spears, yep. Veteran bowmen, axes. Give me those warriors. You're going to take three more units on, Rudiak. Um, We don't want the line breakers. Really, we'll take that cavalry. I'm going to get max out of those and the champions, and then we'll get rid of some like uh, some recruits that we picked up or something like that. Anything else that's really good. In fact, I mean, those guys would be worth having anyway. Uh, those soldiers will be good. Those spears would be good. Right, have we got any veterans, we, uh, recruits rather, we can get rid of those guys. Heavy spears. Let's just drag you to where you're meant to be. Up over here. Line breakers. Up there. Any soldiers. Bowmen. That's good, that's good, that's good. Those hunters there. And drop out the... Bearags. Yeah, they're tier three. Oh, we're still 20 over. 
Get rid of that one. Hardened Brigand. They're tier 4. Get rid of these. I mean, they're cavalry, but they're... They're not prop... They're not dedicated cav. Oh, we don't want these brigands either. Yeah, get rid of them. Still over by a bit. Um, I'm probably going to have to get rid of some of these line breakers. Let's just... They're really nice, though. Let's just get rid of some warriors, actually. There we go. That'll do. That'll do it. Uh, prisoners, we can take on a fair few. We want the highest ranks possible. The tier fives and sixes, if they've got any. Horse archers, they'll be worth the most. Hired blades, yeah. Mercenary crossbows, mercenary cavalry. Khan's guard. Take them and chuck out the... Mercs. There we go. Beautiful. Give me all those horses. Any supplies you got? Give me that hardwood. Give me the wool. Give me the grain. Beautiful. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, I'm disordered. No, my speed's picking up, my speed's picking up. <gasps> oh no, I'm going to get caught. Am I still disordered? Um, Wounded members. Ah! Leave me alone. Uh, I don't think we have to come to blows. 46k. Leave me be. Run away, run away, run away. Taken that castle. But I can't get away. Klein, that's their king. I'm going to keep him. Gotta run, run back to me lands. But it's really tough because enemies everywhere. <laughs> and I can't get home. Leave me be, please. Here we go. Run away, run away, run away. This way. Wee! Oh, look, it's my, my party member. Uh, decline. I need to go put these guys in a castle, which they're not easily going to take. So back we go. We need to kind of replenish up a little bit into this castle. So this guy leaves me alone. Leave. Um, actually, we need to go to a city to trade our stuff. Kill this guy. I'm Richard. Hi. I must beg my leave, though. Mainly because I don't want to fight you in the trees. And now I'll kill you. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Oh, I saw not to attack. Dang it. Oh, he got captured. Yeah, that's probably going to happen, wasn't it? Right, to Sabir. To Sabir. Woo! <laughs> Uh, yes, I'll accept his ransom. He's been released. Where does he go then? Oh, it's he. Oh, I'm going to have to go get him again at, onto at some point. Fine. Have I still got those guys as my prisoners? I do. The most important thing is we've got their king. <laughs> their Khan. I'm not giving you away, mate. No, 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 no. Tavern district. Oh, you yeah, know, hang on. Keep. Go to dungeon. Donate prisoners. In. You live. Thanks. And then we go to the tavern district. Ransom our prisoners. And see how much we just gain to our roguery. Two more levels. Nice. Who's gone up a level of something? 
Raid. Nice. For my caravan master. Uh, hiring companions. Every profitable caravan gives you one renown per day. Great investor. Um, I should probably smith some stuff just to get my money back up in case we get jumped on to be attacked. Also, how am I doing in terms of horses? Got a good, good number. That's fine. Right. Um, to the smithy. forward some of these. Yeah, I've got plenty I've got plenty of like uh, bits and pieces, nice. That's the best of everything I've possibly got. Yep. Forge it. Forge me some swords, please. Oh, we've got this one now. <laughs> Shiny new sword with special handle. Well, that's me all done. Uh, switch on over to you and keep on forging for me. Forge me some swords to level it up. I mean, just give me some more guards. Oh, wow. That one's pretty cool. But that one's technically better. Just keep smithing. Just keep smithing. That should be enough to sell up pretty quick. Oh, was that a new blade? Actually, I just saw that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That hooked one's been there. Oh, uh, maybe no. Maybe we did unlock it, but it's a lower tier. Let's trade some swords. Oh yeah, look at my fancy swords. Oh, that one. That one did really well. Nice. Sell, sell, sell. That's all we'll get from here. Oh, we can sell that one. <laughs> uh, so I'm saying, get a better horse. Uh, step war horse is pretty decent. I can't beat my step war horse right now. Head down to Varnapole. We're going to basically need to build up an army. We've got plenty of influence now. Although I could try and pass that policy so that my loyalty doesn't waver, drop down too much. It would take a hit to our income, but it would solve our loyalty problems. Oh yeah, there's there's other, there's better horses out there, yeah, but there's of what we've currently got access to. I... Probably got the one of the better ones. Oh, okay, this that one's faster speed. But I quite like having that as a war horse rather than the Azure horse right now. Uh stuff like that. Right, let's sell my swords. Sell, 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 sell. Sell. Um wait here. Oh, have I got one in my inventory? Oh, this one. It is running 90. Okay, so, right. It's better, it's better speed. But maneuverability and hit points. I'd rather, I'm more interested in having something with better maneuverability and hit points right now, to be honest, rather than speed. I mean, the charge band damage is quite nice. Uh, it's not that much of a drop down. Let's try them out. The extra speed will be nice, but let's see how he does. Right. Arena tournament. Just do this one while we're here for more. Do, 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 do. More influence. And then I don't know, I might do a save and see if I can actually push a policy through. Ow. 
Ow. Through to the next round, no matter what. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yep, yeah, skip this match. Right. Still through to the next round. <laughs> Is this the most I've saved gone scummed ever? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm using it more. Oh, out. I'm using it more, more as a way of trying things out. Um, but I mean, we've we've saved scum the most when we want to try and keep hold of cities and settlements, mainly for progression's sake, not because I think like, oh, I can do slightly better. But I mean, in a game in a game like this, where it kind of just resets, well, it doesn't reset all your progress, but it just it would slow things down. And people might say, "Oh, well, just just play a lot, you know, play some off off stream or something like that." I don't have time to play stuff off stream, um, so it's basically we either we either just keep repeating the same stuff again and again and again, or we, you know, tactically save scum now and then to enable progression. So, yeah, I don't really have a problem with that, to be honest. I'd rather have more progress than constantly, you know, oh, I lost my army. Okay, I need to rebuild my army. I need to then spend four or five hours training them all up again and getting lots of influence again. And, you know, I don't think it's that much of a, of a problem, to be honest. Policy test. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to push this through or not with the influence I've got. Also, this could this is probably the worst time to do it because we need all our influence for summoning an army away. But I kind of just want to see if I can get away with doing it. It's forgiveness of debts. Ah, that's oh yeah, that's not going to happen unless everyone shifts. So if I even if I throw that in, yeah, it's okay. It's not going to go with me. Right. So there is another one which helps um, reduce loyalty loss or rather gives you some more loyalty gain let me see if i can do that one instead policies i can't remember what it was called though um just need to look for one that tells us about law settlement loyalty is increased by 0.5 per day yes yeah, that one yeah again 150 oh okay that shifts it over so that one is possible right so i can do that one 0.5 per day we won't do it right now because it's going to cost everything I've got. But if we let time run on a little bit and then take a look at clan, take a look at our fifes, our loyalty is now plus 0.36 and 0.49. So, okay, that's the one we'll do. And it is called, because I've forgotten what it's called already, grazing rights. It reduces the production of villages by 0.25 per day, which isn't terrible. But yeah, grazing rights, that'll do us. But not right now while we're at war. That's for peacetime. Right, we are we've done some policy testing. Um for those on YouTube. The The Forgiveness of Debts one didn't get through. The grazing rights, which gives us 0.5 loyalty at the cost of a slight reduction to our villages, did get through, but it cost everything we had to do, and we need our influence for armies right now. So we're not going to worry about doing that. So we're going to head back over here. I think we should probably look to form our own army if we can. Let's take that one. Let's take that one. I mean, let's check distance as well. Anyone super close? You're two hours away. Take you. You're fairly cheap. Well, that's cheap. 170 as well. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, you're three days away. That's going to be 98 influence. That is fine. That should give us a nice big old army. Um, and yeah, we'll assemble everybody over here. And then we'll press the attack, see if we can reclaim Tile. Reclaim Dinar, because we in this war so far, we've lost all the ground we've ever gained against the Kuzates, which ain't ideal.
that's a large army though that's come together, which is good. Hey, Wing Zero. I one, one, two, but could never really play in Lord's Glory with a 1050 Ti. Now that you have a 2080, so you might give it back. Yeah, go for it. That'll be a substantial boost. Substantial boost. How is the war actually going, diplomacy wise? We are ahead. Oh, wow. They captured a load, though. They're all in Dinar Castle. So if we were to take Dinar Castle and free them all, that would be quite a significant gain. Although Tile's still got very low number of defenders. Why are you pulling back, you wusses? We need you to help take that castle. Yeah, move it. Oh, don't get involved. No. Like, why you wally? Okay, go kill them. Can I catch these guys? Yes. Surrender or die. No mercy. Die, please. Ba, 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 ba. I don't think I've ever fought on this map before. This is cool. There's some high ground, and we like some high ground. Every ready. Uh, what what have we? What's this? Oh, that's the whoever else was coming in. I think. Yeah, allies. Yeah. Oh, allies, you're gonna go die. We were attacking them, so again, we're going to have to need to draw them to us a bit. Hear me! Move out! Get moving! Oh, we'll see what we can do. We actually outnumber them in terms of cavalry for once, so that's that's quite refreshing. Stay close. Yeah. Cavalry with me. We'll go hunt down the 21 horse arch they've got over on that side. Yeah. You guys need shield wall. wall. Do, 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 do. Horses! In you go, cavalry. Horse onwards. Move on in. Horse Pull him back to you quickly. Moving. Cavalry over here, please. with my infantry and archers. Bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. Cavalry, prepare to charge. Faster. Horse Bowman, get moving. We just need to wait for the allies to get taken out. Then we should be fine. Soldier, move! Move out! Ride 
warriors, hear me! Onwards! There's the hill cab. We'll wait until we draw them to us. Might just have to just start advancing towards them, but now my archer's definitely in range. We're shooting their troops down. It might draw them a little bit to us. advance yeah. into the swamp well they've taken up some really nice high ground up on that ledge now or up on that rock that's really great gg Cavalry into their group of horsemen, please. Cavalry! Engage the enemy! Yeah. A charge order. Here we go. Tell the infantry to go as well. Wow, look at that positioning from the AI. Archers up on the high ground and infantry down below. That's really good. Some scary AI placement, that. Hey, who's the little midget fighting there? Lord, every last one of them. Top work. If in Warhammer 3, if you kill a faction with souls, do you get the souls? No. You only get souls by doing the uh, the race for the souls by going to the specific uh, realm of chaos and doing the final battle against the demon prince. I think it's been purposely done that way to stop you not interacting with the race for the souls and just sitting back and waiting to delete like enemy factions but otherwise you would just sit back until they've gl until a faction's claim three souls and then you would just jump over to them and take them out that went rather well you're my prisoner now thank you uh how many prisoners can we take lots don't want any militia spears boom 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 Give me your war horses and any snacks you might have. Just go see how big the sieging army is over here and how strong is that garrison. Okay. Keep an eye on it. If we had a few more troops, I would really consider going in and breaking that right now oh yeah this army we're gonna go knock them out come on yep in we go save the castle do, 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 do. do a save as well save the cheerleader Save the castle. 
too, too long. Save the castle, we'll have to do. If anyone gets that reference. I don't want to fight them at night. Don't lose the castle either. Help the castle. In we go. Spank them real good, boys. I much enjoyed the ogre video upload. Good. I'm glad you did. That was a lot of fun to, to play that one. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to doing a full ogre playthrough at some point. Right, we're not gonna we're not gonna hang about. We're gonna advance to them. Warriors, get me. Warrior. Move out. Riders, move. We've got the strength. We need to press to them before their horse archers just dominate us. We have a mod list. Uh, no, not using any mods right now. Just playing 1.7.0 vanilla. We're about four or five episodes back from the YouTube series right now. Charge. Go cavalry go. Annihilate their horse archers. What he says as he misses like both swings there. All the swings. Just miss every swing, Lionheart. It's fine. Come on. Oh my days. Can we can we not miss every single swing? Infantry charge. Just get stuck in. Come here. Yeah, you have a pre-battle interface now where you can set up troops and things like that. It's pretty decent. Yeah, if, it's, if you've not played the game since its launch or for like a year or so, you'll notice some pretty solid changes. They've all retreated. Yeah, they've gone. They're just they're just all in complete disarray, complete complete rout. Absolutely slaughtered them. We lost six from our party. That's good. Nice. Obviously, we've got a, a large army with us, but that's a sound spanking they've just been given. Pick them off bit by bit. Let the castle garrison do the hard work. We charge on in for the glory. There's one out there on the water. That no, he's down. That's got to be it, surely. Boom. We're going to capture them. Yes. Nice. Uh, troops to free up. Sweet. Um, I mean, that's some top tier horse archers, which I'm not going to to make good use of. Really, but we'll throw them in. Uh, we'll take the veteran bowman. We'll take the battalion horseman, the veteran. We'll take the brigand. We'll take the recruit. And that one. Uh, we'll take the hardened brigand, actually, because you're mounted. How many prisoners can I take? Uh, yeah, I'll grab all that, please. Thank you. And he's going to pop those two into a hold, into a castle. I, I would pop them into the castle that's here, but I do worry a little bit that it's right on the front line, so it's just going to get taken every time. Give me all your horses. I mean, this is a great way to farm. Have. Get all the horses. Oh, look, some sheeps. There we go. Oh, like 15k experience for my troops as well. Lovely. We leveled up as well. Uh, not us, but one of our characters. Uh, you're my governor of Sion. Governor, all troops gain plus two daily XP. Garrison wages 5% less. 
Uh, yeah. Garrison wages. Reduce that for Shawa. Uh, riding for you, my sister. Nimble steed. Yep. Increase your maneuvering. Lovely. Right, that one is now free. I mean, we could go hit Tile. It's got very few defenders. They've got a load of us captured at uh, Dinar Castle. And at Tile as well. We need to free it up. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for those other armies to come to me. I'm going to head back to Sabir just because they might come back to that castle. And I want to drop these guys off before they escape. But then we'll come straight back and hit Tile, most likely. Oh, we've got a large enough army now. The thing is, they, they could still come on in with a like a 900 strong force. Is there anyone else that I can call in to us? Yeah, pull you to us, mate. For sure. You've got a large army. Yeah, we're building up a huge force right now. Could pop them in there, but I, I prefer going to the beer. It's a bit safer. Ba, 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 ba. Well, this has gone well. Very happy with this. Top results. Who are we waiting for? Just another army of 105. Okay. Right. Go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners. In you two. Go. All sit happily together, please. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going to go to the tavern to level up our roguery skill. Yep, gain another two levels there. Beautiful. What level is it with you gain these? 50. That's fine. Uh, there is a tournament here. Um, go on then. Let's do the tourney. Got a load of nobles actually, so it should be a really good reward. Yep. The more nobles, the better the reward. But it also means it's going to be quite tough because they're all going to be pretty high level characters. You're a big boy, aren't you? Out. Can you win battles if you're outnumbered or is it impossible? No, you can definitely win battles if you're outnumbered, if you've got better troops, uh, if your tactics are better, like if you've got more. That depends on the quality of your army, but... I was winning a lot of battles massively outnumbered it when I was playing a Valandian campaign in this a while back where I just had a combination of just a load of crossbows and then heavy cav. And I would use the crossbows to draw the enemy infantry in and then just do these massive charges with my, with my horsemen, which often allowed me to take on opponents twice my number. Yeah, like terrain use as well. Like, oh, wife just slaughtered me. But it's fine. We're through to the next round. So we're down to the last two teams. But yeah, like taking the high ground, things like that works really well. All right, come here. Catch an axe in your face, please. Thank you. It's an easy round. Ow. Final round. Whoa, crap. Yeah. There we go. He's dead. Boom. Well, white tabard. Let's have a little look at that. That's actually better than what I've currently got. Nice. We got some new armor, boys. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Fancy. Uh, wife, is that better than what you've got? New, you've got heavy mail. Uh, brother. There you go. Have some fancy armor. Can we swap that down? Yep. Just do hand-me-downs to everybody. That's what you've got as well. There we go. Beautiful. Right. Let's head back. Bring you in. You've gained, grabbed a few more troops. Bring you in. All right. Assemble the largest army possible and hit tile. Oh, no. The Batanians. No. No, 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 no. That means we're going to make peace with the Kuzate soon. Which means they're also going to hit uh, Sionon. They're going to go for my city. Which I need to get back and defend. Which means I can't stay out here anymore. Ah! Yeah, here we go. Make peace with the Kuzate. Oh, but they've taken our settlements this time. I'm actually going to vote against. Just shift it over. I don't think we should. I mean, it's. Oh, I mean, it's going to be a. Oh, we know we probably we probably should make peace. We have too many enemies. We can't. We we're split. Our kingdom's split. Oh, but it means we. Uh, means we've lost. Even if I'd rushed to Tal, I couldn't go straight in, even with just a ram. Oh, that's really frustrating. We can't afford to be at both it. And I, if we're going to win against the War of the Kuzates, I need to be out here directing an army. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'm going to move on tile and then see if I can propose one. I can propose it again. Uh, yeah, we can. We can actually here. So let's just get our butts to tile. And then we need to, I bet in this time I'm gonna lose my car my city though. That's what the that's the price it's gonna be, isn't it? We'll have to then reclaim it. Oh, there's a large army of theirs. They're gonna go for that castle, are they? I'd love to break them in the field, but we really need to reclaim this before they grab that and then peace out with them. That's what we need to do. Oh, of course my settlement's under siege. I guess the only other thing would be, can we make peace with Britannia? Can we try and propose it through that? There's no thing is, the thing is though, with them declaring war as they did, even by the time I got back over, there's probably a good chance they'd have taken my, my city anyway. Let's just try and take tile back if we can. Even if it means I lose my city. We'll head back over there and reclaim it and propose that it be given to me. First, we need to clear away this army. Move in. Um, Was that the army that was coming to help me? It was. I'm almost tempted to say send troops and see what happens. But... We'll open fighting this next time we play Bandlord, I think. Let's drop in a save. Claiming tile. So yeah, that'll be our plan. Fight this at the start of the next stream and recording. Then take tile. I'd love to reclaim Dinar, but I think we're going to lose. So I mean, I think we're going to lose um, Sionon anyway, our city over in Britannia. So we might as well make the most of what we can do here. Force the Kuzates to a crippling piece. Head back over. Smash the Batanians and keep on going this time. And hopefully have enough influence that we can veto any peace treaty against the Batanians until we've wiped them out. Or until we've at least taken three of their cities this time. That's what we'll aim to do. Watching this on YouTube. Until the next one. Take care. And ciao for now.